everyone, today I'm going to be filming a haul for you and I've picked quite a few things up over the past couple of weeks ranging from hair to clothes to beauty products so I thought I'd just show them for you and um, I'm going to get started with the hair products and I popped into Look Fantastic a couple of weeks ago and it's kind of got its own online store but they also have like their own salons popped around the UK and um, I just popped into the one in Brighton which is now called The Hut so I'm not sure if it is still Look Fantastic because they've literally changed it in like the past week um, but I picked up a few things in there. The first one being the Redken Extreme Anti-Snap which it's kind of a intensive treatment for damaged hair um, sorry intensive leave-in treatment for damaged hair and it smells amazing for one thing. I've used it a couple of times since I bought it um, and I really 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 like it. It's kind of just it kind of protects your hair and it just treats it and mine's quite damaged. Um, I had it um, I had it ombred on New Year's Eve so it's not it's not in really bad condition but it's not the best it could be so I found that this has just really really helped to keep it nice and protect it from any further damage. Next thing I picked up was the Philip Kingsley Elasticizer which is basically a super moisturising pre-shampoo treatment for all hair types, adds elasticity, <laughs> elasticity, manageability, bounce and shine um, and I find it just really does all of that. I got the 75ml one and it was £10 or something like that um, so I found this was quite good value for money um, so I've really enjoyed using this and I would definitely recommend picking it up if you just kind of are looking to try it out um, I kind of just pop it on before I wash my hair and then I kind of potter about the house for um, a, like an hour or two it always ends up being, it's meant to be 20 minutes but it always ends up being a couple of hours because I get distracted um, and I find that once I've kind of washed it out, washed my hair, dried it, that it's just super nice and bouncy and look, just looks a lot healthier than it kind of did before I used it. The final item I picked up in Look Fantastic was a Tangle Teaser and I just found that this has been really really great um, for when I'm washing my hair, when it, my hair is wet I've just been using this just to brush through um, and I've just found that it, I've never been able to wash my hair, um, to brush my hair when it's wet before um, and I've just found this has been really good and especially if I want to run product through my hair and get it distributed evenly I found that you just pump a little bit onto the centre of this and then brush it through and it does that really well. Moving on to clothes, I was really naughty and I popped into COS on Thursday um, and basically had an event to go to um, around the kind of north, I think it was the north lanes no, the South Lanes in Brighton. God, you wouldn't believe I lived there, would you? Um, and uh, basically, I had an event to go to and all the really, really lovely shops were just around there, so I couldn't not pop into COS. Um, and, and I picked up this kind of stripy T-shirt from COS and it just has really, really lovely kind of long-ish sleeves. They're kind of like not three-quarter length, they're a bit shorter than that, but not like T-shirt sleeves. And it just looks like this. Um, and it's just a really, really gorgeous, uh, stripy, uh, kind of long t-shirt. And I have just found it's really good for kind of like throwing on over jeans and you just look really kind of nice and made up, even though you've just thrown a t-shirt on over it. And I already had a stripy shirt, but um, I found that it was kind of five years old and it was getting a bit gross and it was one from H&M, so it was a lot thinner, whereas the cotton in that is a lot thicker and it's just really, really lovely. Um, and it was only £12, which is pretty good from God. The next thing I picked up was from Zara and it's this skirt and... The print is just gorgeous, although it does remind me of a sofa that we used to have in my house when I was little. Um, but yeah, I just really, really love it. It was around £30, which I think is reasonable for a skirt in Zara. And it's quite high waist. It comes. I can make it quite high waisted on me, and then it comes to a really reasonable length. Um, not too short, but doesn't come anywhere near my knees, which is really good because that's not a flattering length at all for me. Um, so I just found this is really, really gorgeous. I can't wait to wear it to work on Monday. It's like the perfect kind of work skirt. So I'm just really happy I bought this. Um, it was kind of one of those purchases though that I didn't budget for this month. So I will be eating um, kind of soup for the next two weeks, which I'm really looking forward to. Moving on to the beauty items, I on Friday I popped into basically Friday was payday and um, so I popped into Boots and went straight to the Origins counter because there were a couple of bits that I really desperately needed from them. The first one being a moisturiser and I picked up the Origins Make a Difference Plus moisturiser which just comes in a nice little green tub like this and it smells absolutely amazing. I just I just want to smell this every time I open it so I'm not going to open it because I'll just be here on camera sniffing it. 
but it's just absolutely gorgeous it's really really wonderfully hydrating i've used it for the past couple of nights on my skin and i've just woken up in the morning and my skin just looks really really nice and plump kind of not so much as when i use the origins mask because obviously that just does it to the extreme but it's just done a really good job and i've just kind of been using a lighter moisturizer over the past few weeks um, and i just found that it just doesn't do the job the same so i'm really really glad i picked this up um, it was around 33 pounds which i think is quite reasonable for a decent moisturizer the next item i picked up is the origins plant scription concealer and i already have this i've probably shown it in a haul before um i already own it but um i had to pick it up in the shade two which is light medium because basically i haven't seen the sun in about a year now and i'm getting pretty pale so i had to pick something up that was actually in my color because i was trying to mix concealers to find the right shade and it just wasn't working for me and i just wanted something that was a really really lovely kind of consistency like this one is this is like my perfect concealer so um yeah just picked that whilst we're on the subject of me kind of not seeing the sun for a year i also picked up the laura mercier um oil free tinted moisturizer and i have this in the shade fawn and that is definitely my summer color um so i just had to pick this up in bisque uh, which is m a much much lighter color and it just i'm wearing it today and it just matches my skin perfectly so i just wanted something that was a really really nice light coverage without being kind of like bb cream light so this is really really great we're on the subject of bb creams i also picked up another bb cream i picked up the dot jar water fuse bb cream and i already have this and it's still kind of going strong i'm about halfway through but it's on sale for 11.99 at the moment as opposed to 18 i was kind of like that is a saving i could not miss out on i know i will repurchase this product so there's no point in kind of waiting until it's full price again to repurchase so so those are all the things i've been buying recently i hope you enjoyed this and um, let me know if you have any questions down below and i'll try to link everything up as much as i can um, and i will see you guys soon bye